So one of the great improvements in Windows 10 is the support for high resolution displays. Those are the displays that are rocking either 2K or 4K resolution, which was one of the ones we have here at BWM. We have a 4K display. And beforehand with Windows 7 and Windows 8, it was a bit of a struggle to sort of get everything to work right. But in Windows 10, they've definitely made some improvements. So the, where we wanna go now is we wanna right click our desktop. We wanna go on to display settings, click on that. And now we can customize that display. And one of the key things that they did here is they ch added this little slider here, change the size of text, apps, and other items. This really does help. Now I have mine set to 175%, but you can adjust this as you want to. So 150 is what they recommend for my display. And if I hit apply, uh, if you usually have to sign in and sign out to have everything change, but we'll sign out later. You can sort of see some of the text and everything sort of changed on here. Um, you can see here on the side, you can scroll it up to about 200%, which is why I tried as well too. You can see it kind of got a lot larger. You can see the icons changing at the bottom. But I found on my display, 175 seems to be the pretty good sweet spot. And the nice thing about this is this actually works per display. So if I want to leave this display on 175 and I wanted to go to my second display, I can actually change that to 200% if I wanted to. And if I go back to my display here, you can see this one is, this stays at 175, but you can see between the two there. So that's nice that you have the ability to do that. Now, if you do want a little more advanced options or the options that you were sort of used to grabbing before, you can do that by going into advanced display settings. You can have your resolution choices right here. Um, you have multiple display options, color calibration. You can fix on a clear type if you want to. And um, you can do advanced changing so you can actually do a uh, custom scaling if you want to you want to do it that way as well too most of these settings are kind of already within uh, within the um, menu right here and you'll notice here that even even with the changes that we've kind of made some of the font still doesn't go all that well it really depends like if I open up Adobe Creative Cloud you can see here it doesn't necessarily take to all the changes now you can sometimes try this by going to right click over a program and go to properties and if you go to compatibility you can try using disable display scaling on high DPI settings I have found that works very off and on for the most part mostly off for me I've only gotten really to work like once or so on something so that's something you can try you see if the program may work a little bit better for that I can even show you here even some in the internal Windows programs list such as let's try to go to event viewer here you can still see it's a little fuzzy and doesn't necessarily take up the high DPI settings that you would like so there's still some work to be done but it's far greatly improved in Windows 10 so if you have a high resolution display 4k display specifically you're gonna do a uh, you're gonna get a really good good way of being able to adjust the visuals to get a nice looking display that's usable and it's in the, in the font and the icons won't be so tiny. So this is Bowman here from BW1. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to watch all our videos in the Windows 10 series of videos and always remember to live your tech world in high definition.